the error.type function. In this video, we'll explore the error.type function in Microsoft Excel. Whether you're an Excel beginner or an experienced user, understanding the error.type function can greatly improve your ability to work with your data. Basically, this function allows you to identify the type of an error that occurs in a cell and then returns a corresponding number to a specific error type. By knowing the exact error type, you can then take appropriate actions to fix it, which can be helpful when you're debugging or troubleshooting your formulas. The syntax is super easy. Equals error.type, and then in parentheses, there's one argument, error underscore val. That is the error value whose identifying number that you want to find. In this table, we have a few examples of different error types that you might encounter, and then the different codes that go with them. Again, it takes one argument, which is the cell or formula that you want to check for errors. Understanding the syntax is the first step towards using this function effectively. It's possible to type equals error.type, and then in parentheses, actually type out the error. For example, hashtag value exclamation mark. Although error underscore val can be the actual error value, it'll usually be a reference to a cell. For example, here equals error.type and then in parentheses C22. That points to the cell, which includes the error. And based on that error type, we get an error code of three. Now that we know the syntax, let's check it out. In this example, we're going to be referencing a cell B4. What I've done in this practice file is to lay out a way that we can show the error that's displayed. We can then show what the formula is going to be. In this case, referencing cell B4, we're going to get the result, which actually returns an error code that we're going to see here. Your error codes may look differently, and most commonly, you're going to see the ones at the beginning here. Some of these may not work or even show up. It depends on your version. For example, Python. This version of Excel does not support Python, so this error code may not actually work. And again, you're most commonly going to see the ones up here on the top. Sometimes, at least when you're getting started, you may not know what these errors mean. In this example, I've also included a cell that contains a description. This is where we're using a function called choose. If I double click, we can see that this is a really long function that includes all sorts of different descriptions that will align with this error code. And here in cell B4, I've created an error list. Basically, there's a message, choose the error type from the dropdown list to test it using the error.type function. We can see null, that's gonna give us a result of one, and the description, which might be helpful, totally customizable, intersection of ranges that don't intersect. Let's try another one. If you get a divide by zero error, the description in this case is attempted to divide by zero. Now this is something extra. The main purpose of the function is to take a look at the error type in the specific cell that you're referencing, in this case, B4. So we'll type in equals error.type parentheses and then B4. You can click or type it in, press enter, and the error type will be displayed in that selected cell. It's that simple. Once you know the error type, you can use different methods to address it. You could use conditional formatting, or you could do what I did and add that description. The approach is going to depend on your specific needs. My recommendation, experiment with different error handling techniques and find what works best for you. Sometimes creating something that's a little more user-friendly can help you handle your errors a little bit more gracefully. Don't forget to click on the formulas tab and take a look at the formula auditing group. Using a function like error.type can save you time and effort when you're both detecting and resolving errors. Hopefully this was helpful. And by understanding and utilizing this function, you can effectively identify and handle different types of errors. And that is how to use the error.type function in Microsoft Excel.